Please note that this video has spoilers for the subject. The Ward Movie Faults. So, at the very end, we find that Alice was the original personality and all the others were just splits of her, yeah, split personalities of hers. Couple of questions. She throws herself out the window to kill the Kristen personality. Does she tend to do stuff that could really kill herself to kill these, you know, when we see her, you know, when we see Monster Alice throwing people around, for example, you know, Kristen gets thrown into the walls and such a bunch of times before getting to the office. Is that Alice throwing herself into the walls and such? Yeah, how has she survived that for this long? And, yeah, yeah, I guess that's about it for that question. The other question, is she the only patient in the ward? Have they seriously given her an entire ward? I, I get that you know, you'd want to keep her away from people she could hurt, but she isn't confined to her own room, or even just a few rooms. She's got, you know, the living area, or whatever, where, you know, she and the others meet up and, you know, chat, and, you know, in general, just, yeah, I... Because evidently, you know, the other patients that she meets are all these, you know, just figments of her imagination, so, yeah. The very ending with Kristen attacking Alice. Usually, a John Carpenter ending is the kind of thing where, you know, you will never know exactly what, you know, it's like, it's a question without a definite answer. It's a, a mystery on top of everything else that happened in the movie. You know, even if you think that everything has been solved, the ending leaves it open enough that, you know, you leave the theater looking over your shoulder and not wanting to go home through the dark. And yet you feel like you've been told a full story. This one, it was just kind of, huh? What is that supposed to mean exactly? That the, the Kristen character, that the Kristen personality wasn't dead? That she now wants, like, control over the Alice? Okay. Is that supposed to be an interesting kind of twist? And it actually, again, it like I said in the review, it reminds me of, like, stuff in new horror movies. It it's not a very John Carpenter twist ending twist at all, you know. And then we have the whole, the whole the basic twist of the entire movie, you know, all the people she thought she interacted with were just personalities, split personalities. This has been done before, and it's been done better. I wish I could name the movies, but obviously I'd be spoiling those movies, so I guess I just hope you already know of them, you know, or to, heck, PM me, or, to, you know, I'll, I'll let you know. You can find better movies with that kind of twist, and movies where, after that twist is revealed, they actually do something interesting with it, you know, and this, this is just... But, with that said, you know, for what it is, for it being a slasher flick that ends up being, you know, every victim was just a multiple personality, personality, for it being that, the setup and just the, the structure of it is not bad. You know, we, we get hints, there are, and, and other than what I've already brought up, you know, the does she really hurt herself that much? And, you know, is she really the only person in the entire ward? Other than that, there's not really anything in the movie contradicting it that I can really think of, you know. And that's that's nice. You know, it's always uh, the worst thing to a bad twist movie 
is sometimes that the twist actually literally makes no sense with the rest of the movie. That you can, you know, hold it up against other things in the movie and say, hey, it's, you know, it doesn't hold up. You know, that is really horrible. But here, it actually pretty well holds up, you know. However, I would like another couple of things. The doctor, whose name escapes me at the moment, Moriarty, tells her the personalities were parts of the nightmare you want to forget, or parts of yourself that you hid away, parts of the memory, something. Why was that not explored? Why was there nothing clear? Okay, I get that, you know, one of them drew, one of them had the rabbit, although that, you know, turns out to originally be Alice's anyway, and then at the end she gets the box with the rabbit and the drawing, uh, you know, the sketchbook and all that, but... <sighs> You know, and again, literally, that doesn't contradict. You know, she could easily be the owner of the rabbit. She she could be the girl sketching, you know, all this stuff. And I guess it's like, you know, it's little... I don't know if you could call it red herrings, but, you know, it's stuff to make you think that these are real people, I guess. You know, without you necessarily even thinking about it. You know, you don't outright think or state, okay, well, this girl draws so clearly she's not a figment of someone else's imagination, you know, but just, it it helps you buy that they're really there, or, you know, whatever, but, you know, I would have liked for just a few more details of what happened at the farmhouse. I'm not saying that I want, you know, like... <sighs> Yeah, it's going to sound wrong either way, but if we had gotten just a few details, and then... Okay, let's say that there was, you know, another thing that, you know, she... He hypnotizes that one girl who thinks she's well enough to be let out, you know, the uh, iris, the, the drawing one. And she, and, and he, the date he mentions is, I believe, the date that she disappeared or something like that. Or at least it was the same year, you know, Alice. So, you know, he is actually treating Alice and he's trying to see if she, if she's allowing that. Maybe he's checking if the iris part of the memory is now back to normal or something, you know. But anyway, let's say one of the girls keeps talking about how the man's breath smells like whiskey. Let's say, you know. And then at the end, when, you know, when the, the twist is revealed, the doctor will actually it makes it a point to say, the man who raped you was drunk on whiskey. You know, something like that. So it's like... Oh, so, you know, the breath thing, that went into that person, something like that. But it just wasn't, I'm sorry, but what this feels like is that they had a slasher flick and they just wanted a twist to make it a little different so it wasn't just a straight slasher flick, you know. It doesn't feel like they constructed it as something that, you know, completely you know, made sense, or at least that line feels like it's just there to justify the kind of thing. But again, you know, it was a well-constructed kind of, you know, it, it, it drops little hints that, you know, there, that there's only one person and, you know, I imagine if I watched it again, if I ever do, I could spot things that I didn't even catch this first time, you know, and it's something like Kristen doesn't remember anything before the fire, and when she comes in, you know, there's that thing of the, what's it called, the, you know, yeah, the name she gives is Kristen, so, and, and Kristen doesn't remember anything before the fire, ergo, Kristen happened, you know, the Kristen personality came into existence when she lit the fire or something like that. And heck, that's probably how she knows that the stuff is being recorded. That's because Alice realized that, or maybe she was even told that. 
you know, and her constant attempts to escape, this is not the first time she's escaping, you know. She already escaped, which I guess was Tammy escaping. And then, as she set the fire, she became Kristen instead, and was then pulled back. Something like how, when Kristen is told that Alice is killing the people who killed her, is like, then why is she after me? You know, and it's it's a great little thing, but at the same time, it's not too much that you know, I certainly didn't see the twist coming. Uh, that might be about what I had to say about the movie. The one death scene that I do think was pretty good, well done and memorable, was the electro shock to death a bit because you know it's been done before but i'm not sure i've seen it done quite so credibly realistically and memorably and yeah i i think they did quite good on that i do think that the monster was a bit too much of a new horror film type of monster, you know, a, a bit too fast, maybe a little too strong, I don't know, just, it didn't completely feel right. But, yeah, something like how it teleports, such as when it's fighting Kristen, that's, you know, because it's not really there. It's because it's one personality fighting another personality. It's two parts of Alice's mind fighting each other. So, obviously, it can do that. You know, it doesn't have to obey the laws of physics because, you know, what's actually happening is presumably that Alice is throwing herself against walls. That was also a little... The doctors just let her throw herself out the window. I don't remember if I already said that in, this, in the video, but they say something about uh, we... Th there's a line. I'm pretty sure there. I heard Moriarty say, we did something, or we, we undertook some great measures to get rid of the other personalities. What exactly is he talking about? You know, did they do stuff that would seem like death to the personalities that would make Alice think that they were being killed? And again, it seems like a line thrown in there to justify this, you know, the, the, the twist. And again, it's not a bad twist. I think it might have needed some tweaks for it to make perfect sense. You know, again, other movies did this better and have fewer problems with this kind of twist and thus don't need <laughs> explainy lines like that that don't actually make sense, you know? It makes sense if you don't think about it because it helps to explain. But when you actually stop to think about it, what the heck, what, what does it mean? What were they doing that would somehow help kill off her excess personalities, you know? But anyway, yeah, I do think that about covers it. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.